Hello. Today I'll be guiding you through the process of installing the Citrix receiver on your iPad or Apple iOS device as well as using the workstation. The first step is navigating to the App Store. Now after you navigate to the App Store, what you're going to do is go to the search bar and click uh, enter Citrix receiver for iPad as shown here circled in orange. The next step you're going to want to click download. It's circled in orange here as you can see. After clicking you'll be brought to a quick uh, overview of the product. You can see what it is, read about it, but in a nutshell this is what's going to enable your cloud workspace to work on your Apple iPad. So you can see the download status circled in orange. Once it's complete, you'll be prompted to open it. Now, after you open it, you'll be brought to the app itself. You'll be required to add an account. So to do this, what you're going to do is in the address bar, circled here in orange, you're going to type in go.levelcloud.net. Don't worry about using smart card. That's not a factor in this tutorial. So after you enter that in the address, click next, circled in orange. It will verify what you've typed, and then you'll be brought to the log on to the Citrix receiver page. This example, you'll see my name and my uh, domain. You don't need to put that. You'll be provided with your own username, and you can create your own password. Just ensure that the domain is AIO, as shown here. Then you'll hit log on. Then you'll be brought to the address section. Again, ensure that it's https forward slash forward slash go dot level cloud dot net and make sure that LC65 store is selected. Hit save. You'll be brought to your workstation dashboard. Now from here you can view all the apps that are enabled on your device or on your workstation. Uh, if you don't see the app that you'd like to work with, you can see a green plus sign in the left side of the screen circled in orange. Go ahead and click on that. It'll bring out a sidebar where you can add any, any application that's not showing. So here you can see two applications that have a plus sign instead of a check. You can add them. It'll say, please wait. And after a moment, it'll add them and you can close that sidebar. And as you can see, you can open any, uh, after you open an application, for instance, Prolaw, you can, after you open it, you'll see it circled here in orange, loading. You can see that the application is very much identical to an application that you'd open up on your desktop, and it is. You can use this application just as you would on your normal computer or desktop. So, for example, let's open Word. You'll be back at your dashboard, and you can open Word. From here, you can type anything. I put, Welcome to the Cloud Experience. You can see that it is identical to Microsoft Word because it is Microsoft Word. It's just on your iPad. You can zoom in. I circled it in orange on the bottom of your screen. You can zoom in and zoom out just like you would with a normal Word document. You can even use the navigation pane. You can go to find, and if you look at the top right of your corner, uh, corner of your screen, excuse me, you can see the binoculars. That's how you reach there. Or you can press Control F, and it will bring up the navigation pane. I searched for welcome, and it found welcome on my document. You can then replace or insert a picture, just as you would in Word, on the desktop. I navigated to where my picture was saved. I clicked Insert. And there's my picture that I chose to put on this document. So after that, you'll want to save. Go ahead and click Save, circled in orange. Make sure you specify the location. Now, this is going to be on your cloud server. So make sure it's where you'll remember to get it. It's easily accessible. And click Save.
Now let's open Explorer. I'm opening Explorer to verify that the file was saved in the location that I specified. If you look on my desktop, I saved it on my desktop, and there it is, sample. Let's try to open that file. There it is. It opens up just fine as it normally would on any desktop or computer. And there you can see it is actually the word application. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you.